Margaret, we must be way out of town by now. <laughs> You're hitting fewer people. <laughs> Where are we going? Away from those pesky kids with their Halloween pranks. Some place where no kids could ever find you. To my sister's house. Oh, what's that like? It's well preserved. You have lots of fun. You're well preserved. <laughs> You're no fun. Is it split level with trees and a garden and a stream? Yes, it is, Mr. Lynn. Oh, I hate places like that. <laughs> Did you pack everything? It could be a chilly evening. Everything. Your robe, your slippers. My Dr. Denton's. Everything. We're almost there, Mr. Lind. Which house is it, Margaret? There, at the top of the hill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's Rover. Yes. He's got a cold. Hope his bark is worse than his peck. <laughs> Welcome to Bloomsbury Manor. <laughs> Won't you come in? What's my second choice? Gotcha. <laughs> I want you to meet my sister. Your sister? Mr. Lind, I've been dying to meet you. Looks like you already did. Margaret. Oh, Margaret. Your sister is a witch. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Oh, don't be alarmed, Mr. Lind. There's nothing to be frightened of. My pretty... My pretty, my pretty, you're witches. That's why we brought you here. We want you to help us out. I don't do benefits. <laughs> well, we're trying to soften the image. We've had some bad press. Come on, Mr. Lind, give a ghoul a break. A ghoul? I can't believe I'm hearing this. How can you stand there with a straight face, with a crooked face, and tell me you're not wicked? After all those things you did to Snow White. Distortions. How about Hansel and Gretel? We were framed. And what about Dorothy and her little dog, Tup Tup, in The Wizard of Oz? She asked for it. And her little dog, too. I hate to break this up, but I left my jacuzzi on fast forward. <laughs> Forgive me, I have a cab waiting. <laughs> Driver couldn't change a 20. Would you care for something, sir? No, thank you. I don't smoke. It stunts your growth. We're so happy you didn't leave, Mr. Lind. There's someone we want you to meet. Something living? Oh, I can't wait. It's Miss Halloween of 1976. You held a beauty contest and had a winner? <laughs> Give me rise. Your Paul? Oh, uh, not necessarily. But you promised me a date with Paul Newman. Well, I've been told there is a striking resemblance right around the chin. Yes. Well, we can remove that with a little lotion, dear. If you couldn't get Paul Newman, why didn't you get some other famous Paul? Paul Williams or Paul McCartney, Les Paul, Paul Moore, St. Paul. Why, Paul Lynn? He was available. I'm afraid he just won't do. I won't do what? Hey, what's she got in mind? 
When I won the contest, I won a date with Paul Newman. I won first prize, not booby prize. <laughs> Goodbye, booby. I've got a cauldron at home on low bubble. We'll meet again, Mr. Lynn, when you're somebody. She has a striking resemblance to Betty White. <laughs> but then so many witches do. <laughs> Mr. Lynn, the National Association of Witches, Local 104, wants you to be our spokeshuman to tell the world that witches are really nice people. <laughs> well, why me? Because you're a big television star and a close personal friend of Donnie and Marie Osmond. <laughs> well, uh, how's this for a slogan? Take a witch to a lynch this week. <laughs> Tell him the good part. You get three wishes. You may wish for anything you desire. I wish I were in Dixie. <laughs> hooray, hooray. Now, cut that out. Now, what's your first wish? You mean, you mean truthfully? Uh, honestly? Yeah. You're going to think this is silly, but... I want to be a trucker. I want an 18 wheeler, brand new, red, white, and blue cab. And I want to drive those highways and byways. My CB at my side. I'm moving on. Smokey the Bear, look out. Here comes the Ron Stone trucker. You asked for it, you got it. <laughs>